actually steered by chains. We've come here to the Black Country Museum to see a gentleman making chains in exactly the same way as this chain would have been made in 1912, without any fancy electric welding or anything like that. What was it called, the Black Country? Well, as well as making lots of chains and being anchors like these, they, they, they dug a lot of coal for fire the furnaces. We weren't very far down, you know, and it were all like the pillar and stall method. And of course, they left a lot of pillars of coal and they eventually set on fire. And of course, there was smoke coming out at ground and all of that sort of thing. Yeah. And it were not a very nice place to live. Mm -hmm. But all that's over with now, you know. Yeah. There's not so much of the black country black anymore. By the end of the 19th century, the black country were world famous for the ironwork that they made. And of course, chains were one of the main things, you know, but they made everything from chains, for Titanic, big blinks, this yeah. thing, yeah. To, to teeny little chains, you know, for a tiny dog to railings, yeah. And, and Jeff what? over here, who I've known for <laughs> quite a few years now, in fact, he once had me make a link for a chain. It weren't joined onto the chain, though, you know, it was just a link. <laughs> Oh, beautiful that, Jeff. <laughs> How, you know, right. How many links have you made since I last come seeing you? I'll give up counting. First yeah, on the bank, yeah, yeah, counting yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, I bought some modern chains the other day. They charged me 112 quid. I think 212 quid, I think it was, for two pieces of chain about that long. That's all it amounted to. You know, and I never thought I could have come here, you know, and got it for half the bloody price, no doubt, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You'd have probably have to have more still rather than well, more time. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, you know, it's not really what Oh, it still does the job, yeah. What's well, biggest you could do, like, on... The know, biggest I could work on this, 15, 16. I mean, yeah. the biggest I know of on the big fours is six and a half inch diameter. Oh, well, that's really big, though, isn't it? And that's, that's uh, when you were swinging hammers like that one. Yeah, do we? <laughs> <laughs> With two handles. That's yeah. it, two man hammers, 28 pounders to yeah. 56 pounds. Yeah. Three yeah. man was about 140 pounds. Yeah, I once seen this archive film, making an anchor. There must have been about seven of them with an hammer each. Yeah. And loaded million sledgehammers all booting it, and it were going less and less and less. Then it looked quite lopsided, you know, and I thought, how are they going to get it back like? And then another bunch of lads appeared with lumps of like two inch bar all sparking on the end. And they each individually shoved them in and bang, bang, and then another guy come and cut the end off. All with the screw round swages, they beat it all in. In the split yeah. end time, it's so Yeah, well, all them men will be dead, won't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's what this country was made on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Time for a demonstration. <laughs> Alf and Jimmy are impressed. I'll tell you what, it's quick. It's quick. It was Laura Skilling that. It was all done this way at one time. And, and women were involved in it, I believe. But you know, like little family business, like. That's another job. Twitch. 